Was the T-Rex scaly and badass? Or cute and fluffy? Let's find out if your childhood memories are about to be destroyed. The Tyrannosaurus Rex was not fluffy or fuzzy because feathers would have made it too hot, according to new research. Phew. Many flesh-eating dinosaurs related to the T-Rex have turned out to be feathered, fueling the curious idea that it must have been too. But new fossils dug up in North America and Asia paint a more traditional, scaly-skinned and terrifying image of the huge predator, similar to modern reptiles. The big question is, why the giant Tyrannosaurus reverted back to scales after having evolved feathers among its ancestors? Dr. Phil Bell of the University of New England, New South Wales, said that recent evidence of feathers discovered on most dinosaurs has led to the speculation that the largest, including the T-Rex, were also extensively feathered. He said, We describe fossil skin from Tyrannosaurus and other Tyrannosaurids, Albertosaurus, Daspletosaurus, Gorgosaurus and Tarbosaurus, confirming these large-bodied forms possessed scaly, reptilian-like skin. Dr. Bell said gigantism or increased body mass would have caused T-Rex to overheat, the reason today's big mammals have shed any hair they may have possessed. He said, gigantism has been offered as an explanation for the absence of feathers in large herbivorous dinosaurs. Therefore, the greater ability of larger tyrannosaurids to maintain a constant body temperature may have outweighed the advantages of insulation by a more pressing need to shed heat. Recent fossil evidence had pointed to the possibility that the T-Rex was fluffy, the idea that T-Rex was feathered was fueled by the discovery of Eutyranus wali five years ago in China. Despite weighing 1.5 tons, the fearsome predator had feathers, which added weight to the theory that its famous cousin must have also had them. Another dinosaur, D. Long, an early member of the Tyrannosaurids that includes T-Rex, although much smaller, is known to have feathers. Dr. Bell said, filamentous feathers have been described on two Tyrannosaurids, both from the early Cretaceous of China, Delong Paradoxus and U. Tyrannus Wally, which, at around 9 meters in length, approached the size of some late Cretaceous Tyrannosaurids. Extensive plumage on U. Tyrannus led those authors to reason that large body size did not lead inevitably to a reduction of feathers, and their presence was a necessary adaptation to the cold paleoclimate in western Liaoning. Here we provide the first detailed descriptions of Tyrannosaurus skin, which augmented by other integumentary fossils from late Cretaceous Laurasian Tyrannosaurids, provide new context for the evolution of skin and body size in Tyrannosauridae. Dr. Bell said big animals like elephants and rhinos typically have relatively little hair because they risk overheating and T-Rex could weigh more than 10 tons. His team analyzed the partial skull and skeleton of T-Rex dug up in Montana, along with other fossilized skin from late Cretaceous Tyrannosaurids, including Daspletosaurus, Tarbosaurus, and for the first time, Albertosaurus and Gorgosaurus. Dr. Bell said, Filamentous feathers on some large Tyrannosaurids from China have raised the intriguing possibility that similar structures were widespread throughout the group, even among the largest late Cretaceous Tyrannosaurids. This hypothesis has yet to be tested, although it has serious implications for feather evolution. He said the Montana fossil preserves numerous patches of skin on the neck, pelvis, and tail, and generally comprises smooth, unornamented scales, unlike those seen in birds. The skin of several other Tyrannosaurids, including the first definitive evidence of Albertosaurus and Gorgosaurus, reveal much of the abdomen, tail, and throat regions were scaly. Dr. Bell said, combined with evidence from other Tyrannosaurids, the Montana fossil provides compelling evidence of an entirely scaly covering in Tyrannosaurus. He added, Skin in Albertosaurus, Daspletosaurus, Gorgosaurus, Tarbosaurus, and Tyrannosaurus collectively cover parts of the neck, abdomen, hips, and tail, suggesting most, if not all, large-bodied Tyrannosaurids were scaly. Tyrannosaurids do not, therefore, exhibit the widely distributed filamentous feathers present in Delong and U. Tyrannus, where scales are unknown. The study is published in the Royal Society Journal, Biology Letters. Anyway, what do you reckon? Was the T-Rex cute and fluffy or scaly and badass? Let's hope the latter is true. Will Jurassic World 2 utilize feathered dinosaurs? I guess we'll have to wait and find out. This week's t-shirt. Clever girl. Reading books. Putting on makeup. About to graduate. Get the t-shirt. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Make sure you click the bell icon to turn on notifications. I'll see you later.